Hey guys, welcome to the world of ASILK and today I'm going to be bringing you part 4 of Tips for Tourism. This is going to be the last part in the series so without further ado, let's get started. This part is going to be about hotels and the capacity limit of your tourism city. Let's start out with the first part, hotels. Hotels are useful in your city because sims can stay the night and when they wake up they will spend more money in your city. To create a hotel, all you have to do is simply zone commercial in the general proximity of a casino. Over time, and as your city develops, that commercial zoning will become hotels. However, I recommend you getting the RCR plot mod as you can plop hotels right on the spot without having to wait. I think this mod comes pre-built with Project the Car, let me check on that, but a lot of mod packs today have this mod included in its pack. So downloading a well-known mod pack is usually your best bet if you don't want to go searching and digging for it. Another way you can build hotels is that you can build hotels straight in the casinos themselves. I prefer making hotels this way because these hotels actually give you profit while the zone hotels give you tax revenue. If you look at it in terms of money, these hotels will give you more profit than will the tax revenue will give you. However, the capacity of these hotels are pretty small, uh, making the zoned ones more space efficient. If you haven't seen the last part of the series, I went over how the best place to put ho your hotels is near the exits of the cities. This means near the highway or near any transportation options you have built in your city. Now let's talk about the capacity of the tourists in your city. If you go in the gambling tab under specializations, in the bottom right hand corner you will see two numbers. Correct me if I'm wrong, but these numbers represent the actual tourists in your city over the max capacity that you can actually handle. Now by doing this, you can see just what your city is lacking. In this picture, the actual tourist in my city is way lower than max capacity, so what I need to do is to build things that will attract low tourists. This would include things like the add-ons in a gambling hall or an expo center. Speaking of expo centers, they are a great way for getting tourists into your city. When you book an event, tourists are going to naturally come into your city and then after that they will go and disperse throughout. If you have hotels, they will stay in those. If you have gambling halls, they will gamble in those, and so on. Landmarks generally serve the same purpose, but not to the same extent. That being said, for a good tourism city, I would recommend having a lot of casinos, a good amount of landmarks, and maybe one or two expo centers. For the landmarks, I highly recommend getting the Plop More Landmarks mod, as it raises the max capacity of landmarks you can have in one city. I did a mod review on this, so I'm going to put that link in the description below. Anyway guys, that's it for the series, and I hope you found this series helpful. If you did, then, you know, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.